So basically the story is that yesterday after Until Fall I bought, no, I pre-ordered Walking Dead, like that day, and apparently there were some issues with the store, with the Rift store, and I couldn't like download it and install it at all, and I was not the only one person apparently. I wrote to Oculus support a ticket uh, with a question what's going on and they had like problems on the server or whatever. And I could as well buy it again, like for the second time on Steam, but then I saw that the game was just fucking getting blasted <laughs> by people. I like, I've not seen uh, such negative kind of VR game in a long time. But I feel like people are missing one thing. And it's that, uh, of course, this game is gonna be like, you know, compared to Saint and Sinners because it is such a staple as a zombie game in our like world, but Onslaught is not the same game advertised. Onslaught is advertised as an arcade story driven game. Satan Sinners is survival zombie game. So it's not the same dynamic. So of course Satan Sinners is gonna be superior over it nevertheless and I don't know, maybe Maybe it is that bad, we'll see, <laughs> but like, I feel like people are overreacting a bit. That's just from my first, like, seeing the reviews, but we'll see. Mostly what I'm looking for is the gameplay, because I did not see any episode of the series of The Walking Dead. I'm not familiar at all what's going on, the actors, nothing. Hold any button on your domain hand to decalibrate. So I'm just looking purely at the gameplay and the quality of it. Not the storyline, not nothing to just like accuracy of the voiceover apparently. This like shitty or whatever, like that's not my thing. But we'll see. We know that Sentence Sinners is very good. Like the best zombie game we have. So. <laughs> and this onslaught has an interesting story that it was delayed because of the Sense the Sinners was, ca was coming. And now Sand and Sinners is coming to Quest. So. <laughs> like this game has no luck at all. I truly think. At a good time. And. <laughs> it's just funny to me. If you want to survive the Walker Onslaught, you'll need a bit of training. First, let's take a look at your controls. This is same, the same tutorial Try each of the Sinners. And see what's comfortable for you. The same environment. I remember actually we were like in the... Wait, were we? I'm confused. Wait, okay. So, smooth. Now try turning. Pretty good. How do you want to move around? Try each style. They're all pretty different. Uh, smooth. Try moving around. Mm, yeah. Looking good. Now move towards the door. I hate that it's like fucking dark. For more options, what do we have actually? Minimal E2D, phantom feedback, dominant hand, smooth, head, graphics, uh, max. Excuse me. <laughs> Audio. Do we have subtitles? Oh, nice. Okay. Fun. You can bash doors and other objects in the environment. What do bash you mean? The door. Oh shit! Oh, damn it. Hello. Here comes a walker. You can shove walkers to get some space. Try it now. You mean push? Good. Oh my you god. Can also grab walkers in a choke to hold them in place. I don't like this. Okay, now throw the walker away from you to only one way to keep him down for good. Oh damn. Choke the walker and stab it in the head. Oh my god. <laughs> I like the models actually kinda. Uh, Fighting isn't the only uh, get out. Time to learn about scavenging. Uh. If you see any useful materials out there, be sure to take them with you. Oh, there are scavenging materials. Okay. So, uh, how do I? Wait, 
You can use anything you find. I I don't grab it like that. How do I grab it? Punch with your left hand, press left grip to pick up. And that sucks. Why I can't Point like the controller you know. at something. Get cl now that you have everything. Hmm. Let's focus on the locked door. Locks can be broken by bashing them with any weapon. Nice job. <laughs> Keep moving. Sometimes you can find materials inside containers. Uh huh. Bash the container to open it. Bring back Bash. all the food you can find, so our community can grow. If a container is on the ground, you'll kick it open if you bump into it. Some items are rarer than others, and can be used to upgrade weapons. Head through the next door when you're ready. Okay, well... Oh fuck, I see blood! Oh, come on! Let's see what that hammer can do to a walker. Please don't move! Thank you! Oh damn, they are resistant. Ah, shit, myself. Stop it! <laughs> Idiot game. Of course, there are ways to kill walkers without getting too close. Let's test. Oh your god. Try grabbing that pistol. I don't like that you grab it from the distance. Some weapons can be stabilized with your offhand. Steady the pistol. And take a shot at those walkers. Huh? So like... Okay. Wait. Three shots, okay. When you want to reload, I'm fucking you resistant. The <laughs> and grab a new one from your hip using your offhand. I didn't grab it, it was instantly here. You can aim down the sights of your gun for more accuracy. Keep shooting the walkers in the rain. Ah, okay. That's very simplistic reloading though. <laughs> okay. Nice shooting. Why don't you try this one out? This lever action shotgun packs a punch. Use both hands to keep it stable. Lever action guns need to be cycled each shot. Quickly flick the gun to cycle it. Okay. Sure to reload. There's more ammo on the table. Okay, it's uh, the controls are fine. They're not like primitive, just like you know, Arizona or like those old zombie games. I feel like it could be a bit better because we're in 2020 already, but it's not that bad. Nice work. You can carry four weapons at once on your weapon wheel. Release the button on the weapon you would like to switch to. If you pick up another weapon, you'll swap it for whatever you're holding. That's kind of weird. Pick up this machete. Weird that we have like weapon Perfect. wheel. It's best to keep not a like balance of firearms and our melee belt weapons at all or times. you know. <laughs> time for a live test. No! <laughs> Don't move. A walker's gonna break through that door. Fuck this. Remember, you can shove walkers away using your hands or any weapon. <laughs> Get out. Just break, please. Shove ah! it with your off hand first. You need to shove it with your empty hand. Can you die? Thank you. Oh shit. Shove the walker using your empty hand. Ah shit. Good. <laughs> now try it with your weapon. <laughs> That's kind of fun that you can like punch them. <laughs> Come here. Eh, eh. Now move forward and finish it off. Clear. <laughs> Head through where the walker came in. I don't have ammo. Ah, oh, damn it. Don't teleport on my ass. Fuck. Is this still ominous for me? Look out, <laughs> Turn around and kill it. Well, how? Get out! What the fuck happened to my hand? <laughs> Get out! What the hell? <laughs> Kill that walker before it's too late. How? Do you have any ammo? Well, Kill that walker before it's too late. I can't. Oh wait, do I have any weapon at all? Watch your back out there. If a walker grabs you, it'll pin you. Oh back. shit! Wait. What? Okay, well, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> K 
Can I? Into the new world. <laughs> Thank you. I don't like dark places like that. Damn. I guess card even tutorial. I don't like zi zombie games like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a horror game per person at all, so. Eh. Okay, well, first impressions are that. Uh, hmm. It's okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna play more, uh, let's see. Yeah, what Damn about it. the graphic? What? It's just, the this is so long? Coming out here by himself. <laughs> well, just remember, protocol dictates that things are gonna heat up real fast out there. No kidding. Be ready to meet at the fallback spot. What I will await your signal and arrange your rendezvous when mission success has been achieved. Uh, what do you mean, not this way, this way? Damn, the graphics kind of look old. I feel like I'm playing Arizona, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Wait, oh, zombies already? Jesus Christ. Get out of my way. Thank you. Too big, big. <laughs> Why they are so raggedy? That's pretty weird. Wake up! I mean, don't. Thank you. Definitely, Daryl. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I'm just making sure. No one is alive here. Thank you. Yeah, it looks like him. Oh, oh, oh! Hello. Darryl, Are you the famous guy? You better have a damn good reason for running off. Hi. Where are you looking? You saying you wouldn't come look? <laughs> it don't mean I can't do it myself. I told you not to go. Don't answer to you, Rick. I'm Rick. I have people okay. to protect. That includes you. There's a life at stake. Do you even care? That isn't one. Mm. Maximum walkers coming this way. Might want to hunker down. Drive to the fallback spot, Eugene. We can settle this later. Some tension. Take this. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. Band's moving to the East Road. Let's go. Yeah, I know the way. Oh. <laughs> Watch it. Well, thanks for nothing, Daryl. I'll be fine. Take the path to your. What do you mean you'll be fine? <laughs> Daryl. Daryl. Okay, I think we can take this. What, did, what was it? Ah, oh, medicine. Okay. Gotta get to the van fast. Okay. I'm just gonna switch to heavy range. This was actually pretty good. <laughs> I for some reason I feel like the metal weapons are gonna be superior in this game. I have just a weird feeling <laughs> because of the just sheer amount of zombies and like physics as well. This is pretty much just like you know. <laughs> oh, having a party, having me get out of my way. Okay, I don't know why my hand like tends to disappear for some reason no 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 you then get close to me <laughs> it's kind of funny why oh <laughs> okay that says this wait is there auto aim no okay <laughs> it was Can't be far now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please don't fall. Oh, I think we're gonna fall. Wait. I'm gonna kill them before. I'll come down there just in case. Oh. Hey! You were down. Okay, I'm not wasting ammo. 
the reloading seems kind of wonky. Hey! Finally, let's get out of here. Your leg. Just a little banged up from the bridge. I'll be fine. Doesn't look fine to me. Can we go already? Yes. Eugene, get that engine running. Okay. You still owe me a talk. Okay. Was that a prologue? I know that it's not gonna be like very... Like... Advanced in gameplay. Of course it's not gonna be. It's cheaper. And it's more story based. I don't like the models though. It's like soon. low quality graphics. Won't take too long. Feels better than it looks. Yeah. Rick, we got a line on those supplies. You ready to go? Stay here. We'll talk when I get back. Michonne, I'm on my way. Michonne? I remember Michonne from the Walking Dead Telltale series. That's pretty much <laughs> the only. <laughs> Only time I was... Oh, I have a hat. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so those are materials that we can gather. Simplistic, okay. Here is she, Michonne. Yes. Hey, now that the war's over, we can finally focus on rebuilding Alexandria. Glad you're here to help. Can you finish those plans then? Yeah. We're organizing efforts to scavenge food and materials. Hmm. With enough food, we can bring in new survivors. With enough materials, we can build out the community and the arsenal. If you want to go out there, there, here's the map. <laughs> Sounds good. The first thing to do is pick where you want to go. Options are limited for now, but once we recruit more survivors, we'll be able to search farther out. Mm -hmm. Plan a scavenger expedition. So we are getting more people. Once you select a site, check out all the info the scouts gather. Materials spotted. What materials can be found there? Survival. Water scavenger trips are risky, but they usually mean there's better stuff to find in the area. I'm not uh, looking for a challenge now, so I'm gonna take novice. What, what? Whatever. Make sure to lock in your plans before you go. It's a training. Uh, Shooting range. Okay. <laughs> so let's go, I guess. I think I'm ready. You still need to gear up. Head over to the armory while I get things prepped. <laughs> May not seem like much now, but as you discover weapons, the armory will grow. Take a look at what we've got. Oh, well, yeah. Get the right materials. You'll be able to upgrade. Looks like you're ready. Get to the van. Eugene is waiting. Should I take... Um, no, I think ammo is going fine. What's this? Scavenger... No, no. Okay. Ten -ten. I would like to believe this will go smoothly. Mostly because that means I won't have to exit this fine vehicle. We're selecting... Character Rick Grimes, Michonne Carthorne, Carol Pelletier. So we can play with other characters from the series, I assume. Okay, well... It, for some reason I feel like it's... It, it, this, it seems like there is some story, but like... It's not uh, clear yet. We're going for a scavenger hunt to expand Alexandria and like build. Okay, so... Okay, maybe... This is the story. <laughs> I don't like those sounds. Jesus Christ. Hey, don't go! Just like we planned. Aww. Look for supplies and keep ahead of the herd. The old Woodbury transports used to go through here. I'm guessing no one has wanted to touch Wait, what the fuck is there? <laughs> There's gotta be something here, even if it isn't much. Oh shit, wait. This is closing in. So we, it is a time limit. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna switch knife. Fuck this. Hello. I find it weird that you can't literally grab 
you can't grab things, you just grab it from a distance. Okay. Please don't jump scare me! I don't like this position of the knife. I'm more comfortable li with the straight up from Saint and Sinners. This is like not comfortable for me. Hello! Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> not too close, please. <laughs> they feel like soft. I don't feel like killing them. I mean, just like, you know, physics based. They're just like, yep, bye. I'm just like, yep. <laughs> Look in the okay. interiors. Every scrap we can find helps. I'm like tickling them. <laughs> Hello. <Hit you. laughs> I think the sound effects could be amped up a little bit. Just feels kind of. Soft. Okay, so we are scavenging the supplies. He do, he do, he do. I mean, I hear them. Oh, that's how you run. Okay, you press the tr this. Okay, shit. I think they're too close <laughs> for my taste. Yeah. So, wait. Okay, it's just like the heart, but like they're like <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's g gonna be it to playing with this. To be honest, uh, doesn't seem like appealing. Kinda more. It's a. Uh, it I th I think it's like average. But then again, the price is like what, twenty five euros. It's advertised as an arcade game. It's yeah, it's average. It's not something groundbreaking. I love. I actually like really the like atmosphere of the Walking Dead. It kind of creates. The mechanics could be a little bit polished. I feel like they are not like terrible, but they are not really like VR friendly for some reason. Especially that we are used to like, you know, pick up things by hand. Here you just like your static, just point, click, point, click, click. That's kind of, it's not something that we want to see in 2020, I feel like. <laughs> and moving on. Um, pfft, I don't know anything about the show, the series at all. But the voice acting seems fine to me. Like, it's not. Like I don't know. I I guess the Steam review reviewers are a little bit <laughs> tash tash, you know. But then again, I understand that people are gonna be comparing to Saint and Sinners this one, so it is what it is. If you release game after that, that's just what you get. Um, nevertheless, uh, I don't think it's very worth to do a playthrough of it. It seems like just an arcade kind of for a fa for a big fans of the show. But like other than that, it doesn't seem compelling, especially this scavenger hunt. I'm like, what? Okay, feels al like Arizona to me. But well, there it is, I guess. <laughs>